Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Uh, we're back for part two with our guest, Tammy Shorts, and just a really wonderful testimony. And most of you out there, um, not most of you out there, I, let's rephrase that, many of you out there that are lost, not saved, and you're just flipping the channel and God has you stop there and you're thinking, hmm, what's that lady talking about? And you stay, it's because he wants to speak to you. Because many of you think, oh, I've been good, I've done a lot of great things, and I help the community, and I do all this stuff. But you're lost and you're not going to heaven because there's only one way, truth, and life. It's Jesus. That's right. He's the way. And so we're going to hear a bunch more about Tammy's testimony today. It was just really powerful. God took her to heaven. Um, and uh, well, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to welcome our new viewers. I want to welcome you to the program. Uh, this topic today, just with testimonies, we have a guest, and it's just going to be all about the rest of her testimony. And you'll want to get part one and two, or watch it online, or whenever we post them, and all that kind of stuff, because it's great. And then remember to call those prayer lines. 307-637-PRAY at the bottom of the screen, that's 7729, because miraculous things are happening on that prayer line, and God is no respecter of persons. He wants it to happen for you, too. I don't care how many times you've prayed, how many years you've believed, um, there is a time, and there is a moment, and you will connect, and it will happen. And so let us be one of those that pray with you and see your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I'm Charlene Back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts for you new viewers, and welcome to our regular viewers. We just love you, and thank you for watching our program every week. This is Jennifer Griffin. This is Suzanne Nelson, and she is again a guest host today, and we're very excited to have her. She's doing a fabulous job. It's like she's done it forever. And so, and that's a, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. And then this is Lon. Uh, uh, Garner and our guests thank you for coming back again Tammy what a powerful powerful testimony I just want to tell you because some some of you just need a little recap Tammy um, thought she was just this great person she didn't need God she was doing wonderful she you know great job. wasn't you know uh, prison and you know because a lot of testimonies are really rough and and some people were just good and they do great and all that and they think they're okay well that's the worst place to be because God said it's not by your works that you've yeah. been saved at least you yeah. should boast yeah. but it's God it's it's the grace of God it's because he sent Jesus to die for you so anyways through this whole process she had a long story which you want to get the um, see or DVD of, uh, she gets taken to heaven, um, nothing happens then, pointing at Jesus, madder than heck, you know, uh, angry, but he's so good. And just through that process, he started dealing with her heart, and she ends up receiving Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior, and she put it so well, but I just wanted to give you a recap, and there's going to be many that tune in during the program that you'll just have to go back and see the program. But anyways, uh, Tammy... My gosh, you know, we talked a lot about your um, testimony. We talked a lot about how you came to Jesus, um, the things that were happening in your heart, which was so powerful. I mean, just so powerful. But today, do you have a family? I mean, do you have children? Do you have? I'm, I'm raising my grandson. My daughter passed oh. away a few years ago. She was oh. a type one diabetic, and she uh, she left me <laughs> with her with her with her son. So you only uh. had one child. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was me. I had one son. Yes. And then you're taking care of the how old yeah, is the... Yeah, he's, he's eight now. So I oh. had him since he was... I, he's been here since he was four. And, uh, and his, his father, his, my, 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 my former son-in-law, um, really didn't know how to deal with that and really didn't want to. Oh. And so he's here with me and we're having a great time. Wow, but thank God for you. You know, see, that's another heartache. And, and you know what? We should just touch on that for a minute. Um, like... You know, where where were you? How can you help somebody going through that today, Tammy? See, I, the thing is, when I, I think when most people come forward at the altar and 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 say that prayer and 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 accept that gift, mm -hmm. most people I think think that 
it's all going to be flowers and rainbows. Yeah. Right? Yes. And, and for whatever reason, why he did what he did, he let me know immediately it was going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. That it was, this was now harsh. You were, I was now a foreigner in this land. Yeah. And, and I wasn't going to be accepted. And everything was going to be thrown at me. Um. And, and, and I, so that was, a, that was something I had to prepare for. Mm -hmm. But he never said to me, everything's going to be sweet in this life. Yes. You yeah, just you, you just have to you just you just have to you just have to uh uh to, to let me help you through it. How old was your daughter when she, she was 25. 25. Yeah, was a, a type 1 diabetic and uh, we didn't know until, you know, her autopsy that her pancreas had was deformed. But she didn't she wasn't a type 1 diabetic until she get, until she was pregnant. So oh. they thought it was gestational. Oh. But yes. as it turns out that's what that's what took wow. her that's what took her pancreas. Wow. wow. And she struggled she struggled with it, you know, yes. as a young woman not wanting to deal with this. Um, it, it was a struggle for her. Yes, and, and then um, you have so, the baby. Right, and, and she, she had they, somebody in Minnesota, some doctor, gave her some prescription pain medication, which always goes bad. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he gave, us the, he gave her the worst prescription on the market, Dilaudid. Oh. And, and oh, so that Lord just that kind of changed her brain to the point mm -hmm. where she really, we had to keep telling her, your brain's not mm -hmm. telling you the truth. Yeah, um, oh, we were Lord. baptized together in um, oh, in two thousand in awesome. in, uh, in Bowman Lake in Minnesota. Um, she wow. was she was thirteen. I didn't even know she was going to be baptized. Uh, this was November fourth oh. in Minnesota, so we had oh, we, we had, we had to, yeah there was oh, skim ice. The, the pastor wasn't really pleased with it, but it was his son in law that was also being baptized. <laughs> <laughs> and and actually his and 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 the son in law's mother who was in her late seventies at the time. So I, we got some uh, some Coast Guard gear <laughs> for some of them. I didn't know that Brittany had gone into the office and said, I want to be baptized. And she did what, I mean, she did this on her Wonderful. own. Wonderful. This was on her own. Wonderful. And uh, so it was the four of us out there in freezing cold you know, water. In freezing cold water. Yes. But, uh, in so I have, I have those memories, and that's why that's th those memories are important yes. uh, to, to have. Yes. Because when, when Will prays, um, he always, at the end, he'll always say, he wanted to know if he could talk to talk to his mom and I said no but you can ask Jesus and Jesus will pass along whatever you need. Oh. Yeah. And and so every yes. every whenever whenever he prays, no matter what prayer it is, he could be eating dinner and he, if he prays, it's you know, thank you God for this food and please tell mom we love her. Oh. So oh, yeah, <laughs> he always right. adds wow. that to the end. Yes. So you know he'll always have that connection with her. Yes. And always, and that's yeah. that's important. That must have been so hard on him at four. It it, oh. it, it was but thank God he had grandma. It was it was hard on him that yeah we're 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 working through all of that stuff and he's Still, probably you know the is. older yeah the older he gets the, the easier it is yeah. but that's what life was going to be like the first thing I I asked my church um, when I took the job as as um, as a volunteer mm -hmm. youth person mm -hmm. was to pray for my daughter because Satan wasn't going to go after me yeah. he was going to go after yes. her wow. and and I knew that I, I I knew things that didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th that's the most amazing thing. People don't accept this book yeah. because they don't understand it, and they think that it's gibberish. And it's not. A, you have to. You have to believe first. Yes. And all of a sudden, this book makes complete sense. Yeah. When it's yes. in your heart, everything yeah. makes yeah. complete sense. Mm -hmm. yes. But you have to get there, and most people, that, that's where they don't want to get to. Well, and mm -hmm. I think about what you're talking about being a foreigner. You know, a lot of people think, well, yeah, you're right. They're, they're told everything's going to be peachy keen, you know, once I'm saved and, and everything's going to happen. And, it, and it, we do speak out those things. We speak out what the Word of God says. But I do know that we are a foreigner. We're aliens on this yeah. earth. It's yeah. true. Our true wow. our true residence is in heaven. Right. So yeah. mm -hmm. it, there is going to be more of an attack because you weren't harmful to the kingdom the of darkness at that time. Right. And then I, I think he was very angry that day. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I was I was not I was not getting <clears throat> to anyone. I was, I had thousands of people before, all the years I was in the Coast Guard, thousands of people I had connected with that I never gave the truth to. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, he was very happy, th yeah. th th the enemy was, <laughs> mm -hmm. because I wasn't doing a thing. Yeah. And then yes. all of a sudden it changed and he's like, who's in charge of watching her? Mm -hmm. How did we let this happen? Yeah. Because now she's going out and doing all this crazy stuff. So <laughs> he didn't attack me, he attacked her. And wow. and there was a lot of attacks, but it's the the point that there's joy in all of this. Yeah. Yes, you know, in every the more he attacked, the 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 more joy I found, because it meant that he wasn't he 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 knew that his time was short, and he yeah. was angry about it. And the angrier yeah. he got, the more I the more I enjoyed it. Yeah. And it is hard, 
But the idea is, I just lost my daughter, I now have my grandson, how do I respond as a believer? How do I do that to my neighbors, mm. who were all in that church last Saturday for the memorial, that mm -hmm. I couldn't get to church any other time? They walked into that church for the first time there. And, and I was hoping that they would see something, and see something in me, to go, I'm still okay, this is still okay, there's still joy. Yeah. God is still in charge. Yes. And I'm not worried about any of this. Yeah. And and that's, I mean, some people did mention that. Other people mentioned, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you sad your daughter's gone? Yeah. You yeah. know, why aren't well, God, why you, you, are, why are you, out, why are, why are you get out of bed? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's, the midst, there's a reason. There's a mission to get out of bed. Yeah. We've got to get out of bed. Yeah. Either, yeah. either it's to give Will breakfast mm -hmm. or, or to talk to somebody. In the midst mm -hmm. of every storm. And that's a big storm. thing. He's mm -hmm. there. Yes. And I never, yes. I have never felt overwhelmed um, by any of that. I, I'm, mm. I'm definitely tired. I'm too old to be raising an eight-year-old. Uh, I'm definitely tired. No, you're not. But it's, it's, it's not that overwhelming thing because as long as he's in charge, I can just sit here yeah. mm -hmm. and, and yes. do whatever he tells me to do. Mm -hmm. And True. that's what makes it good. Yes. Well, we knew uh, Will and Brittany came, came here in, um, what, four, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And she was struggling through this. But because they were here together for two years before she passed, Will was considered a Colorado resident. Mm -hmm. If anybody, I went, the, the, the morning I got the call, I got, I got a knock on the door at 4 a.m. Because she was in Minnesota. She actually went back to see her mother-in-law mm -hmm. and didn't. She went into diabetic ketoacidosis because I oh, wasn't there Jesus. to keep checking her. I was the one that kept checking her. Oh, well, I needed God. to check her because she needed to be here two years to make him a Colorado resident. To get to him, they oh had to my. come through Colorado. Yeah. And Colorado is pretty strict. It's mm -hmm. a whole lot different than Minnesota law. Mm -hmm. And I went, mm -hmm. within four, three hours of her death, I was in the car with my friend Deb going to the courthouse. And we got the paperwork. We started it. I sent everything over. We went through all of the stuff. There was no way Colorado was going to take him out of the state. And so that oh, needed to happen. You. Those yes. fingerprints thank are there. Yes. He yes. kept her alive for two extra years. Mm. Uh, tough for her. Tough for me. I mean, in, in some ways, it was a, it was a relief that she wasn't in that yes, in that struggle sure. anymore. But we needed that struggle for wow. two years, and those are his fingerprints, and he is oh, all dear, over God. everything. Oh. And and until we can see that, then we try to struggle on our own. And mm -hmm. I've struggled on my own, and it's it's not good. Yes. <laughs> no, it doesn't Besides work. your own child, twenty five years old, so young, and now raising the grandbaby. Right. But he's probably thank God he's. You know, got somebody his life really his life is much different with. Yeah. he he has he has issues uh, with his pancreas and I feed him oh. differently mm. he gets he gets carbohydrates once a day wow. uh, he gets protein the rest and uh, if um, if I had told you that that I would have him for four years and in that four years he only and, and he's a little boy from you know four to eight and he's only gained 10 pounds you would want me in jail mm. that's mm. how heavy he was when he got here wow. because they kept feeding him sugar and his body didn't know how his pancreas would just put out too much insulin. Wow. So we've cleaned, we've cleaned that up. Yes. He's dealing with a lot, of, a lot of those issues. And, and if he wasn't here, I can oh. only imagine what his life would be like. Oh, yeah. my gosh. As a 300-pound you know, really? eight-year-old oh. who, who ruled his, the, the house he lived in with his, oh with his, with his grandmother and, and, his, and his father <coughs> and his uncle and his aunt. Plus, you're confessing healing over him. Yeah. You're confessing God's word over mm -hmm. him. And he, you know, he, he understands this. He gets this. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's the, the bigger point is I don't ever want anybody to be 36 and, 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 and lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been there, and, and it's, it's not worth it. It's not yes. worth the crying that yeah. you have to go through. Right. And it's, it's the point wow. of getting them now. Yeah. And, yes. and when we don't get them, mm -hmm. uh, when, we, when, we're, when we're just... But we're just their friends, and we don't tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't need, a, need another pizza party. No, we, they, they need, need the they truth. Need truth. Yeah, yeah. and and it was it was interesting with um, with my youth group. Uh, they knew I was pretty strict. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they they knew they knew what I believed, and I was young, and you know, I was still young in this, really young at that time. And um, they wanted to they wanted to see if what I was saying was true. They <laughs> would uh, they would give me at one point they would give me an hour. To uh, to have to have a lesson ready. Wow! They didn't want me prepared. They <laughs> wanted me to prove that that I really did believe in the Holy Spirit, yeah, like yeah, I did. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so if it started with an hour. I would get I would get a I would get an email 
and they would say, we want to talk about this. <laughs> so I had an hour. And then it got to the point where they would uh, tell me, well, there was one, this is how bizarre kids are. They wanted to know <clears throat> who, was, who was going to win in a battle. Um, Neo from, from Matrix, Spider-Man, Superman, or a Jedi Knight. <laughs> Took me all weekend to get that one because they gave it to me on a Friday. I watched every one of those movies. Oh, brother! And there is so much scripture that goes in with all of that. It's amazing to see how much you can pull out of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then when I did that, they went, "Okay, forget it. You don't get any breaks. You're, we're just going to give you rights. You're, you're going to tell us what we need to know right now." Yes. And that's what that's mm -hmm. what impressed them. <clears throat> Not about me, but about the fact that somebody who is young in the faith as I am could, could, could rely on the Holy Spirit and mm -hmm. what I had already mm -hmm. learned. Because, you know, VBS really helps people. VBS, yeah. helps, they, it really helps adults. You learn stories of VBS that no one else knew. Mm -hmm. You know, that, you, you, that no, one, no one would know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so VBS really, really helps adults pick that stuff up. Yes. And, and, but if I didn't tell them the truth, then I'd be in big trouble. Mm -hmm. So I was going to ask you, what, what is it, because um, I know what you do now, and I love it because you, you actually go and help other people, and it's, it's, telling a story is what you said, so mm -hmm. can you tell us about that a little it's bit? Just, it's just about, there, there, are so many, there are so many stories out there, especially mm -hmm. in, 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 in groups of people who are doing such good work, but they can't get their story out because they don't have the ability to film, they don't have the ability to, to make a website, they don't have the ability to that tell a sense. story. Mm -hmm. And when you're in, a, in a, uh, a dump in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and you find out that people live in the dump because they can't speak English in Mexico, yeah. you have to be English speaking to get a job wow. in Puerto Vallarta. Wow. So if you don't speak English, you can't get a job, you can't get a house, oh, you're living Lord. in the dump. And they systematically go through the dump to build their houses mm -hmm. Mm. because that's all they have. So what do they need? They, they need English lessons. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the mothers of these children all wanted their kids to learn English so that they would have a better life in Mexico. <laughs> it still shocks mm. me. They should come mm. to America. They could speak it. That's right. They can speak it. That's right. You can speak anything you want. But there it was. And, and so that story was there, but yet... There were five organizations that were helping these people. We actually had to move a whole, a, a, a whole little uh, neighborhood because they had, they had built their houses where the, when the rainy season comes, they were just going to be washed away. Oh. We had to pick up these, these oh, things that Jesus. were built of garbage and actually move them to a different location. Mm. We, did, uh, we had to do, uh, we, we used piping because we were trying to give them some sewage systems. And we didn't know how to do it. You pull out the iPad because the guy that knows how to do it is in Galveston, Texas. And so you connect with him on, and you go, okay, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? Uh, you, okay, put this here. Oh, no, you got you to put the blue stuff on there first. So we were pretty much doing plumbing with an iPad and some guy in Texas who mm -hmm. could give us that information. Mm -hmm. And that <coughs> word should get out to people. Mm -hmm. Five organizations uh, one from the one, one from Australia, one from the UK, one from Canada, and two from the U.S. That were just there just to help these five thousand people, these families living in a dump in Puerto Vallarta. Wow. But the story doesn't get out because no one knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. mm. They can't afford it. If you have the skills to do that, you can't give it away because you have to <coughs> make money. Mm -hmm. Well, I was retired. I had my GI Bill. I went to school. I got all of those skills so that I could give it away without without doing that. Mm -hmm. This I did it. I, I I do it for everybody. I mean, I do it. I do it for friends. I so do all kinds of. So you're doing short films. Anything. I'll shoot anything. And and uh, even even a friend of mine uh, last two weekends ago, I shot girls volleyball for them because they they needed to see what they were doing good and what they weren't. Ah. So I shot that. Well, this a couple of days ago, uh, she called me back and said. Do you know how much money you can make doing this? And she sent me this email, <gasps> and she said, right. "This guy charges one hundred and sixty dollars a match." And I shot, I shot twelve matches that weekend. Oh my! One hundred and sixty dollars a match per person to do your child, and that doesn't include all the editing and all of the no, stuff I and know. making it the takes DVDs a lot. and and and, yeah. and doing all that. She's like, "Why aren't you doing this?" And I said, "That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. That's not. I'm doing this for you." to help you, but my job is really to go and tell those stories. Mm -hmm. And those are important. Yeah. Th yes. those, are, those are what people see on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, when, they, 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 when they, they Google it, 
They go on YouTube, they see those things, and they go, that's amazing. I had no idea we had problems there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that, that matters. Mm. Oh, and yes. to know that there's a bunch of people that only do this because Jesus says, we really need you to do this. Yes, that's amazing. I had run into another lady. Uh, God always raises up stuff for the needs. And she said God told her to start filming, going to the rest homes. I thought this yeah. was so beautiful. Filming their story and giving it to their family. Absolutely. So they have something when they go. <gasps> How beautiful. Yeah, how beautiful is that? Yeah. And she's just taking all of her time, bought the cameras, yep. not charging anybody, going and getting their whole stories, life things for grandparents, anything they can remember. Wow. And what they want to say to their family and then giving them there's a the lot. Story. There's a lot of people that at, at the end you, of Lord, their life doing that, or, or people that are dying of cancer. So they know they have a yes. short window of opportunity yeah. Yeah. and they just want, they just want uh, their, their grandkids who are little who won't remember them to do that right. there's a lot of that we yeah there's that's really there's, awesome. there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, the ability to do that and it's important mm -hmm. because it is you never know i mean when those when, when when your grandkids when you're gone like me my grandparents were gone i was <coughs> i was uh i was born um late my sister's 18 years older than i am wow. so i lost grandparents early uh -huh. and i don't i don't have that memory you know of them mm -hmm. and, and they didn't you know, they, they, they tried their best, I think, with me, and, and I ran them up. Tried their best. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, they, the, my grandparents yeah. were all godly people, and I, they all prayed. Yeah. But but that didn't do much for me at that time. Mm -hmm. I still went off and did my own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in power. Yeah. Power is, 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 is big with, with, I was raised at the time when women's libs started to really go. Mm -hmm. And my father raised my, my, my sister to be barefoot and pregnant. Mm -hmm. Well, she wasn't. She was a beautician. She did a lot of a lot of things. She worked in a lot of different jobs. But that's what he told her. That was her job. You're, you're supposed to get married and have babies. That's what oh. you do. That's when I bad. came, when I <laughs> white, but it, not 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 for the not not for the way he did it. But 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 yes. we're white. Yeah. But for me, he raised me to 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 be anything I wanted to be. Wow. And yeah. that was that was dangerous because mm -hmm. in that time. Being anything so, we wanted to be was bad. So at that mm. time, I know they're going to be holding up five minutes. And can you take just a couple minutes and we shift back to um, how hard it was for you all those years because you thought you had it all. Can you speak to anybody in your camera and just just talk to them just for, you know, as quickly as you can. Sure. Of, you know, what, what's on your heart so we can help them because where you were at, we want to see them saved. Right. Right. I can tell you that I am. I, I was the strongest, the toughest, the uh, the. You said a word. What did you call me? Confident. The most confident person in the world. I really didn't need anybody. You but thought. In the end, I would be <clears throat> in hell. I would have been completely lost. Mm -hmm. There would have been nothing. There would have been nothing mm -hmm. for me. And here I thought I was doing everything right. And, and I took care of people, and I, I, I did all of those things that you would want from, from, a, from a daughter or from a granddaughter or, or from a wife, the, the person that does everything for everybody, and that you would always say at the end at a funeral, you know, she's in a better place and she's helped so many people. And in my funeral, it would have been, she's gone, that's it, it's over. That's, that, was, that was all she got. She's done. And that's not the way that it is, because now I'm in eternity. I would like to say, I would like to say that I died 15 years ago to Christ completely, but I haven't. There's not many people that can. We still, we still have those battles inside of us, but it's worth the fight mm -hmm. because we have eternity That's right. and I have eternity with my Savior and I can't imagine what it would be like to spend eternity outside that home oh. in the dark. Gosh. In anguish, mm -hmm. when I knew all along it was something so simple, one little thing, one little thing that would, that would change everything. And the idea is, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of, 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 of loving Jesus, because he takes care of everything. Yes. Jesus. I don't need to be strong anymore. Do I still have an ego? Yes. Do I still... Sometimes present me more than him. Yes, I struggle with that all the time. 
but he is always there for me, always. And all I can tell you is, if you're out there and you're like me, don't wait another second because you don't know how many seconds you have left. Ooh, amen. He touched me. Right. He gave me that moment. He said, tag, you're it. And I did something. And that's your story too. Wow. You're out there and that's your story. And please, think about it. Because just to go, wow, that's really amazing, and then go off to your life, you'll forget. Wow. Wow. Man, you heard, you heard her. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, if you don't know him today, you know, and even though she came uh, very, very late to the Lord, thank you, Jesus, he saved her. He, he's the one who comes to seek and save the lost. He's the one who died on that cross for you. We're all so grateful that we know him. We thank you, Father God. And you know, if you don't know him today, she's so grateful, our guest Tammy, that God did come and seek and find her. And she's sitting here today as he opened up the airwaves to her to come in and plead with you to know him through her testimony, through the words, because it is the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And all you got to do is say, forgive me, Jesus. I confess really with this mouth and believe in this heart, because the two come together, that you are the Son of God, that you really died on a cross, that you rose again, and that you're coming back to take me to heaven eternally. And that's all. It's that simple. And people, sometimes they just fight with this head and then say, oh, it can't be that simple and the immaculate conception and all this. But it is. And I can tell you, I sat in Hare Krishna temples. I sat in, I grew up just doing crazy stuff. And you know what? None of it had the power to do from the moment when I said, Jesus, mm -hmm. come into my life. Yes, that's right. I, I really, I seriously heard yeah. the birds sing differently. Mm -hmm. I had a value of life that uh -huh. I had never had before. Um, because I just thought, well, just abortion's fine, anything's fine. I mean, and then I was just like, oh, Jesus, you know, to yeah. kill, you know. And so anyways, we love you. If you did that, said that prayer, just call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen so we can pray with you. It's just such a joy to come into your home. Keep tuning in. Tell your friends about us. You can go to iPhone, Droid. Uh, watch us on YouTube, online, at our website, across the bottom of the screen. It's only goodbye for today. Thank you for joining us. Join us next time. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs. Marianne Peluso's music CDs. Lana Gardner books and Charlene Back to Marianne's books. Visit www.godsviewtvshows.com to purchase your products today. Be blessed over and over again as the Holy Spirit ministers to your heart by ordering today's program on DVD or CD. DVD $9, CD $7. Both include shipping and handling. Order your copy today at www.godsviewtvshows.com. Must specify topic of show when ordering. Remember, must specify topic of show when 